Hey, what's up? John Sonvez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I thought I'd do a video this morning as I'm walking to breakfast after doing my workout. I, you might be wondering why I'm eating breakfast if you've watched my video on how I eat one meal a day, which you can check out here. Uh, the reason why is because I fasted all day yesterday, so I didn't eat any meals so that I could meet a friend of mine for breakfast and have breakfast at this Hawaiian cafe here in San Diego. I love me some uh, some Hawaiian food. If you didn't know, I went to I lived in Hawaii for four years. I went to high school for four years in Hawaii. Went to graduate from Radford High School. So anyway, I thought I'd do a video talking about how basically what you do, what really determines how far you go or how successful you are is not what you do, but when you do it. And what I mean by this is, well, let's look at it this way, right? So it's pretty easy for anyone who's feeling motivated to go to the gym and work out, right? If you're, if you're feeling motivated, it's easy to go, to go work out, go for a run, to eat healthy when you're starting a brand new diet and you're feeling good about it. It's easy to write a blog post when you just started your blog. If you haven't started a blog already, check out my blogging course. It's totally free, but you should definitely do that. It's easy to do your work, to do your side project when you're all energized and excited about it and motivated. But have you ever been like really sleep deprived? Or have you ever, you know, just gotten drained and burnt out and not felt like doing anything or you've lost your motivation? Or maybe you're really frustrated and you don't know what to do a lot of times when we don't know what to do next, we lose all our energy and our motivation dies and we don't want to do anything. So we kind of just waste time. In those moments, that is your opportunity to shine. Because see, the thing is, what's going to make the difference really in life, you know, the biggest difference is going to be what you do at those times. Because just about anybody is going to be motivated at times that are going to try to do ambitious things. You know, I mean, I don't know anyone who hasn't tried to get in shape, who hasn't tried to start their own business, who hasn't sat down and tried to write a book, right? How many people try and write a book and they never finish their book? They never even get past page 10. The thing is, everyone does that. What most people don't do, though, is they don't keep on going when they don't feel like going anymore. They don't keep on pushing through. They don't make the progress when it's really hard to make the progress when they don't feel like making the progress when they get up in the morning and they didn't sleep that previous night and they think to themselves and i think i'm going to skip the gym this morning or i'm going to skip my run or you know what i deserve to eat a little bit better i deserve to get some ice cream today i had a hard day i'm going to ignore my diet or you know I'm really tired and I've got my kids to deal with so I'm not gonna work on the side project today it won't make a difference if I if I miss one day or two days when you have that kind of thinking you know just like most people do that's when you don't make progress that's when you end up being mediocre but if you look at the really successful people in life and you look at how they accomplish their things Sometimes you, it looks like they have superhuman strength. Sometimes it looks like they have superhuman motivation. Sometimes you wonder how anyone could be that motivated, how anyone could be that driven. Uh, and, you, and you think that that's just something special to them. But what you don't see, because you just see their highlight reel, you just see their accomplishments and awards and how they've had success. But what you don't see is the times that it was hard to go and do that thing and to wake up in the morning and to still go and do the side project or hit the gym or run or whatever it is you don't see that and so that's what you know hopefully watching this channel hopefully watching my videos and the stuff that I put out you're seeing some more of that because I'm being real with you here you know I'm telling you when things are tough but hopefully you're seeing me push through a lot of things and seeing what, what comes out on the other end. Now, I wasn't always like this. There was a long period of my life 
or when things would get hard, I would give up. When I would, you know, work hard when I felt motivated, and when I didn't, I would stop. But I never saw success, not real success, until I learned how to push through the pain, until I learned that to have a, a higher cause, that I didn't always have to do things based on whether I felt like it or not. Sometimes I would have to do things just because I needed to keep doing them to be consistent, to be committed, and that's like the key. So anyway, my arm is getting so tired from holding this because <laughs> I just did so much shoulder exercises. Hopefully my thumb's not too much in the picture here, but my point is this. Don't just work hard when it's easy to work hard, when you feel motivated. Don't think that just because you're not motivated that you should quit or that something's wrong or that it's time to give up. Instead, come up with a plan and stick to that plan no matter what. I mean, no matter how tired you are, no matter how hungry you are, you know, I've been at the gym at like midnight before or one in the morning because today was a lifting day. And even though I had a whole bunch of stuff going on that day and I didn't have time to lift, I made sure I did it or I did it the next day or I ran twice as many miles to make up for a day that I had to miss because I didn't have time. I sacrificed sleep. You know, the show must go on is a really good saying. If you just think that in your head, if you always think the show must go on, no matter what, you're gonna make it. But if you're willing to let, if, you, if you're willing to slip once down the slide, you're gonna slip all the way to the bottom. You know, have you ever been on, on a slippery slide or, you know, a water slide and you, you know, you could stand there at the top of the water slide, but as soon as it starts going, you're not stopping that thing. And that's how it is. You know, you, you miss one day, you give yourself one lame excuse, pretty soon you're giving yourself another lame excuse. Pretty soon you're sliding down that slide. So anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel. Talk to you next time. Take care.